You just watched the assembly of the pneumatic creeper that sucks ass. Hey guys, welcome back to Gas Tax. I'm Warwick, and here's another unboxing. So recently, I unboxed this creeper. A uh, little update from here, I bolted these down because I kept kicking them off. Nothing wrong with this creeper, 100% fine. Uh, I just decided to get another one that uh, went up and down. Uh, this will be fine if I'm working on level things where I don't need to adjust my height, but I realized Working under this car, I will always be on a creeper. And it'd be great to have the flexibility of uh, a hydraulic suspension. So we'll see how this goes, uh, if it will work for me. But that should be it on my uh, creepers. I think two is plenty. A hydraulic one is just what I thought would be good. Again, this one came in two boxes. Don't know why, but we'll find out. If you hear a noise in the background, it is, uh, they're called cicadas. They're like a horse fly except 10 times bigger. They're literally like two inches. Uh, they're pretty gross. They make a noise. Um, and then they just stop. Apparently they are, they react to uh, the temperature, so that's good. Uh, so if it's a cold night, they don't go off. But anyways, I just realized this is the creeper. Uh, I did order other stuff. Apparently this person sucks at taping boxes. Uh, hopefully nothing got lost. Let me just, oh, what I ordered is uh, interior cleaner, because I never, had any interior cleaner with the obsessed garage stuff. Yeah. These guys definitely love packaging. I ordered, uh, so this is a magnetic blanket for when you're working in your engine compartment. I figured I don't have this. Uh, it's not really for the R32, it's more for the R8. But I did see this on the website, it was cheap enough, so I bought that. So that should keep me from scratching my car. Here's all the interior cleaner. Let's just go over what I bought quick. Looks like someone's at my door. All right, so we have vinyl and rubber dressing. Interior cleaner. Leather spray three in one. And window cleaner. Four nozzles. Don't know why, not complaining. And some tiles, ultra premium microfiber, and then two sponges. I assume these are for windows, but who knows? I doubt they're for windows. But anyways, the main thing wasn't the cleaning, so let me just put the cleaning away. I'll get back to the creep. With all the cleaning supplies in this closet, uh, it's stinky as all hell. I mentioned before, it smells like a uh, unicorn shit. That's exactly what it smells like. Because, because obviously I deal with unicorns. But I'll sort those out later. Let's get down to this, this puppy. All right, so we got the Karstas. Ooh, 
roller blade wheels. Oh, the reason I bought this was because it was originally, I think, 109. It was for on sale for um, 59 or something like that. Probably that was just a bait and switch tactic on their marketing team, which doesn't really phase me. Uh, so. Nearly done unboxing. Acorn nut, whatever it's called, acorn wash, acorn, so these acorn bolts, the head just popped off on them because they made the bolt too long to bolt into here. Hashtag manufacturing fail. So I got two legs super wobbly because I can't tighten them. And once these legs are wobbly, it screws up the thread. <laughs> I just saw it. So, I guess I'm the dumbass. They gave you a tiny little wrench. No, it's not even a wrench. It's a wrench for the nut. It's not even a wrench for... Okay, never mind. They're still dumb as shit. This doesn't fit in here. It fits on here, which who need? If you buy one of these and you don't have tools, don't buy one. Okay. Ladies and gents, I know why this thing was on sale. Me just sitting on it right now. The, the rollability is zero. Uh, you need quads like Hercules. The wheels are probably too small. So, the wheels that the uh, This one, all oh, perfect, so I'll probably get some of those. But this is the whole reason I needed this chair. Let's see, goes like eight inches. I don't know if that's good or not. Guess time will tell. So, thanks for tuning in. This is the pneumatic creeper that sucks ass. So thanks for tuning in for this episode of Gas Tax. You just watched the assembly of the 
pneumatic creeper that sucks ass. What's sad is I'll probably use this one more. So I'll definitely need to upgrade these stupid wheels. The wheels stop you from moving. Could be something to do with my weight. It's fine. Um, but I'm gonna order some of those wheels. Replace these wheels. And hopefully that makes this thing glide better. It's not like there's dirt or anything. This is a fresh garage. Uh, so I can't imagine anyone that has a little bit of dirt or a shop in uh, an actual auto auto shop having success with this. If there was a grain of salt on the floor, <laughs> you would feel it. All the wheels would block up and jam. So I don't recommend it. I'm going to make some alterations. The seat is pretty comfy. Uh, I do like that adjustability of it. So. Thanks again for tuning in, until next time.